going on YouTube. I'm tired, but I'm here because I love you guys because I wanted to give you fresh off of the first New World Tournament that we had there. Twitch is saying hi to YouTube. Hello. Some of you are saying hi to yourself. That's fine. Uh, we just finished Magnets versus Ritual Beast in the finals. That's right. You heard me right. New ban list, new box, new Arc 5 world. And I thought I would just take a moment. Uh, we've DLE has been streaming since 3 a.m. Doing the new content, you know, and then just finish capping it all off with a big old tournament at the end. I just wanted to take a moment to kind of give my thoughts of uh, about the Arc 5 world. Um, you know, a lot of people came in the stream today and said, what, what do I think about Arc 5? Do I like, you know, what we got, what we didn't get? Tell me about it. And uh, the best way I can describe this world is I am very whelmed, right? I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not underwhelmed. It's about what I expected minus one thing. I did not expect them to give us the selection box super mini. And I was kind of talking to chat about it. I'm not really that upset about selection box super mini. In fact, it's it's actually kind of nice, dare I say. Please don't cancel me in the comments. Let me explain myself. Um, there are 12 total packs in this thing. You can get four as a free to play player. You can get four, which is a good chunk of them. Uh, which you'll probably get the card you're looking for doing that. Um, and even if you're not, even if you're like a player who is, is not free to play and you do spend a little bit of money on this game, you're not a whale, you're a dolphin. That's what we refer to them as. This is a very, very uh, inexpensive way to get something like Chaos Dragon Levianir, which is a fantastic card. Um, I actually did one gym pull and I opened it. But even if, even if you were to go through all 12 packs... Uh, it's actually not bad monetary wise to just do it that way um you know you can get really and then you get all the other stuff of course alongside the levy um but it's actually not that bad it really really is not that bad um if it was a little bit more expensive i'd probably be more upset or if there was more packs in here i'd probably be more upset it sucks that certain cards like the archfeed eccentric is basically paywalled um, and you know, if, if you're not spending real money, it's hard to get like three copies of this without just having it in a box and stuff like that. I don't agree with, but like, honestly, even as a free to play player, having four out of 12 shots to get at least one of these. And then whenever this box resets and comes back in the future, you go for it again is not that bad. <laughs> it really isn't that bad. I would much rather have this over any amount of of just normal selection boxes this is way this is very dolphin friendly it, it's it doesn't really go in uh to, to force you to spend a lot of money it's a little bit of money on a game that you love and then if you're free to play you still have a pretty decent chance of opening what you're looking for it's really not that bad all things considered um so that was my thoughts on that uh, other than that there was the structure that came out and honestly the structure kind of feels terrible like you kind of have to get the structure if you want to play pendulums at all um but pendulums themselves are kind of not worth playing right now and i and that's what i mean when i'm whelmed i kind of expected that i think everyone expected that if you actually expected pendulums to be playable right out the gate i think that's a little too much um it's a brand new mechanic they got to teach people how to play them and that's why things like this uh kind of exist um Things like, the, things like this box kind of exist to try to help you learn how to do it. Um, I think we're going to get actual real pendulums December, January, somewhere along that line. Um, but this is a nice little introduction for it. Me personally, I'm probably not going to go for it. Uh, I already know how to play pendulums, so I don't need it <laughs> type of thing. Uh, and then, of course, the actual box came out. Um, you know, there, there's some there's some cool stuff in the box. Uh, but, you know, if it becomes meta defined or not, kind of just depends on where Pendulums goes. I am glad to see uh, better Exceed support. I'm better to, uh, you know, coming out. We got the, finally got the, the Ebon Illusion Magician. Finally, Ouroboros is out. These are really good Exceed cards. F glad to see that Exceed is finally getting some decent support. Hopefully that continues. And then, of course, the Evil Hero stuff, which is cool, I guess. I don't really care about Evil Hero. <laughs> so... As far as new cards, they're just they're just kind of they're cool, you know. I don't think they're meta defining or anything. I, I don't think it's anything special, you know. It is what it is. Um, Book of Moon did not come out. I'm very disappointed in that. Uh, that being said, 
because it's not coming out now doesn't mean it's not coming out by the end of the year. It, it, the thing, the way the selection boxes work is they 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 need to bring out all the the selection cards before they introduce like a brand new selection box main. Um, and outside of the super mini, we should be getting our next main like in January because they want to maximize the amount of months they get to sell the box, right? That's kind of the, the thought process. So Book of Moon should be coming out hopefully <laughs> by Christmas time. <laughs> new war, new new year. I don't know, man. It should be coming out soon. Kind of scummy. Uh, if you save gems thinking Book of Moon was coming, I don't blame you. Uh, for Fiendish Chain, Necro Valley, all of these uh, 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 came out with the new world, you know, retrospectively. So it makes sense for Book of Moon to have come out. It just, it didn't. Instead, we got Gold Gadget. And it's funny that it's Gold Gadget because that's the one I've been memeing about for like all week. Uh, so there you go. I'm sorry for cursing it. Um, outside of that, uh, uh, characters, we had four characters. Sawatori has an insane uh unlock well not insane but just kind of just a lot of work to uh, unlock him um so you know we weren't able to really see the full power of everybody some people had meliotis but mm, they didn't have the cards or the levels or the skills to really do anything with them so we didn't really get to see uh too many crazy arc 5 decks in today's tournament i'm hoping to see more uh go moving forward uh other than that there's this gift gift uh, g uh, gift festival thing which is cool um, they unlock after certain amounts of hours of playing, but, you know, the more you do, you can get bonuses and stuff to it. It's just free rewards, which is a nice little system. Um, they've updated how smooth the game is, especially when you're winning. They've introduced no, new synchro animations. In general, the game looks better, looks and runs and feels better, uh, which is good. It's always good when they're optimizing the game on that front. Still getting reboot errors, which is unfortunate. It is what it is. What are you supposed to do? And um, I, 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 I think that's pretty much it. You guys tell me, you know, it's, it's the, the official first day is coming to a close very soon. Uh, if you've been up since, you know, <laughs> since 3 a.m., you're probably going to get some sleep soon. Did you enjoy your first couple hours, you know, half day or so? in the in the arc 5 realm uh what did you like what didn't you like uh what types of things are you looking forward to uh me personally i'm looking forward to the noble knights of this era the first pendulum deck that'll actually pop off i love you guys thank you for all the support enjoy arc 5 till next time